Renee Lessing and I'm a wound care specialist. So I wonder if on this program we can show the public how to do a basic dressing. Just so that if they have to at any stage ever do a basic dressing, Renee is going to give you the techniques and explain it step by step with me on how to do it. Tell me over here we have a few basic things to dress a wound with. Now we start by you know hand washing is extremely important so I've got the the hand alcohol or the alcohol wipe for your hand so after you've washed your hands you need to do a, a, a nice alcohol rub, rub and a quite an extensive alcohol rub because we want to eliminate any kind of bacteria from our from our hands because the hands are the biggest um, transmitter of, of infection. The second thing we've got is a dressing tray which assists us a lot and I'm going to open this just to show you what's in the dressing tray. Um, we all have hand towels, a little linen saver, a bag which should actually be really red but it goes into a red bag anyway, your disposable gloves and some gauze. Little areas in this um, little bowl to put your solutions in, your wound cleaning solutions in if you if you choose to. The important is also to have something so that you don't mess on the patient. So a linen saver is usually very helpful. So I'm going to put on my gloves and this is not a theatre so we really um, don't don gloves like in theatre but we try not to contaminate and make sure the gloves fit you well and you've got your gloves. So a little bag for, for all your um, debris and all your dirty dressings can go next to you. And now you have your gauze called saline or salt water in layman's terms. And this is the most basic thing to clean your wound with if there's nothing else. We don't clean wounds with Savlon and Dettol and Usol anymore. We hope this information will help your family members at home in case you need to do a dressing for them someday or the kids hurt themselves. Join us next week as Renee Lessing tells us about her speciality, wound management.